Hey everybody and welcome back to another quick cup of coffee with Jim. Today's topic is what is a product funnel really? We hear a lot about product funnels but nobody really explains exactly what they are. There's a lot of confusion so I figured I would have us a little cup of coffee today and help clear that up. So what exactly is a product funnel? And a product funnel is basically a process and it's a process by which you bring people into your business or you move them along a certain predefined path to help them buy more and also to help them get more satisfaction so there are actually two types of funnels there's a front-end funnel and there's a back-end funnel and they can take a lot of different forms you can use more than one front-end funnel you can use more than one back-end funnel but typically they're used either when somebody is buying or interacting with you in the first for the first time with a new product or they don't know who you are or they're already in your uh, they're already on your list they're already in your Facebook or whatever it is so typically a front-end funnel starts with some sort of a free offer whether it's a free article a free report uh, it's a shipping and handling offer on a book Whatever it is, it starts with something free, even an ad could be the front end. And it brings somebody in, then typically you move them up to buy something else, somewhere in the neighborhood of 10 to $50. Then you're trying to get them to buy something else in the neighborhood of 100 to $200. Again, these can vary depending on your market. And, and then typically it can be anything after that, or you could just make one or two little offers or whatever it is. But all of this happens on the same interaction this doesn't happen over time as opposed to a back-end funnel where you typically would use email to sort the high reactors meaning you've got people into your funnel they're either come in on a free offer they have bought a low-cost thing or they bought a high ticket thing now what you do is you have a predetermined path or process that you take them down using email to get them to spend more money with you and also to to grow with you and to get more of what they're looking to get whatever that is so why do you want a funnel as a business owner or as a book author why why do you want a funnel and there are really three main reasons why you want a funnel the first is to build a list now some people have said over the years that email marketing is dead those people are insane um, you need to build a list and so this is a way for you to at a, at a minimum with squeeze pages and opt-in pages you can start building a list of free people but by having a predetermined funnel you actually want to build up and can build up more easily a list of buyers uh, the second thing this does for you is it helps you afford to advertise where other people can't especially if you have a book a book's only gonna sell for so much money but if you have other things that people can buy on that first interaction you can make more money which means you can afford to spend more on advertising whereas your competitors if for example they're all just selling books a twenty dollar book they can't afford to spend more than twenty dollars to acquire a new customer but if you've got a funnel you can spend more than they can and third the reason why you want to have a funnel especially a back-end funnel is to maximize back-end revenue and increase service because if somebody buys from you obviously they want to know more about whatever it is you're selling they want more of whatever the benefit is and by defining that back end you're able to help them get more of what they want and help them to grow and get whatever result so in the end the bottom line if we're just tie up what is a product funnel the bottom line is a product funnel is a process it's a buying process you're helping people to get more of what they want and in the process you get more subscribers you make more money and both of you have more satisfaction because they're getting more of what they want and you're able to stay in business and grow your business so your action step here is to really define your funnel sit down with a napkin or a cup of coffee and piece of paper and just define your funnel both on the front end and the back end and I would encourage you to grab this free book my buddy Russell Brunson has written a book called dot com secrets where he walks you through all the different types of funnels shows you how to set them up this is truly an awesome book I highly recommend it and you can get the book absolutely free just pay eight bucks shipping and handling at seven dollars and ninety five cents shipping and handling plus when you buy the book you'll be able to see a super cool funnel in action so I highly encourage you to read this book I read it cover to cover and I'm on my second time through it grab this book now while you can get it for 
of free shipping and handling. I'm Jim Edwards, and I hope you enjoyed this cup of coffee, and we'll see you again soon.